Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today we're making Betty. So Betty is part of the Hey Dougie cartoon characters. So the yarn that I used for her, well she's she's about a foot long and about six inches wide ish. Yeah, she's about a foot long with all her little tentacles. She's an octopus and about six inches wide. Maybe six and a half. Uh, the yarn I used. So this purple is a Craft Smart. This is all going to be in the PDF. This is a Craft Smart purple, and it is called Amethyst. I give you a better idea of the color. Um, <coughs> when I zoom out, I lose a little bit of light for some reason. Um, this is just a peach Craft Smart peach that I used for the mouth. This is a Red Heart white and black. This is neon from the Craft Smart Collect Neon Collection. So this is just pink and yellow. And then I used a five millimeter H hook. Let's jump right into it. So we're gonna start with a magic ring of six single crochets. We're gonna start building the body. The body of Betty. We're going to use a stitch marker because it's amigurumi. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch round after the first one that's where the stitch marker goes and then stitch number two can be in that same space so this will give you a total of 12 stitches when you're done Your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. So that's my one single crochet with my marker. The next stitch will get the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. At the end of this you should have a total of 18 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase and this will give you 24 stitches when you're done. That's number one. That's number two. And then your increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 30 stitches. That's number one. That's three single crochets and then your increase. Two single crochets in the same space and repeat.
Your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 36 stitches. That's number one. That is four single crochets, and then your next stitch gets to increase, which is two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and an increase. And this will bring you up to 42 stitches. Your next round is going to be six single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 48 stitches. All right, one last increase. We're going to do seven single crochet increase. So this is what you should have. So for the next 21 rows, you're going to put one single crochet in each of these 54 stitches and I will see you on the other side. Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two, where you should have your, your 21 rows done. Um, so in this chapter, we're going to obviously finish building the body. We're gonna do everything else. So um, this might be a little bit of a longer chapter. I'll try to make it short. So we're gonna start decreasing now. Now you can stuff this anytime you want, but I think I'm gonna decrease a couple of rows before I start stuffing. So, your next round is going to be seven single crochet decrease because that's the increase that we stopped at. So I'm going to do invisible decreases and I'll show you. That's number one. That's seven single crochets and then my invisible decrease is going to be in the front loops only. So I'm going to go into the front loop. I'm going to pop around to the next front loop. Then I'll yarn over and pull through. And then I'll yarn over and finish the stitch. So that's an invisible decrease. So that's the one I'm going to choose to do throughout the rest of this project. So I'll repeat this all the way around and you'll have 48 stitches when you're done. So your next round is going to be six single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 42 stitches. That's number one. That is six single crochets, and then your decrease. And repeat. Your next round is going to be five single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 36 stitches. So 
So we've got plenty of time, but I think we're going to start stuffing mine now. We've got a few more rows that we're going to do in order um, for our decreases. So, But I just wanted to start stuffing it anyway. Your next route is going to be four single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring it down to 30 stitches. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 24 stitches. Next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. This will bring you down to 18 stitches. Right now, you want to get all the stuffing you can, well, you'll be able to put a little bit of stuffing in before you close it up. But. So, last but not least, one single crochets and a decrease, and then we're going to cinch. So you just need a cinching tail. So continue to do some more stuffing if you think you need more stuffing. I think I'm okay. We're going to make this the butt anyway, where all the legs get sewn on. We're going to make the good, the good looking part, the top of the head. So. so go in the front loop, out the front loop all the way around a cinch, just like that. And once you're around, you just pull as tight as you can. And then you just want to make sure you make a knot to Make this nice and tight. And 
And then you weave. Like I said, I wouldn't really be overly concerned about what this looks like. We got five legs to put around here. I mean, the cinch doesn't look too bad if you did if you did yours like mine, but. So just a great big round, round thing. <laughs> uh, so on to the headband. So get your neon colors if that's what you got or whatever color you got and we'll get that done next. So uh, I've got my yellow. I'm going to make a slip knot. Um, if, you're, if you're working with this neon stuff then you should have the same count as me if you're working with and this is just it's a four weight like I can untwist it is it is a little puffier though than a regular four weight but it is just four weight but if you're working with something that's um not the size of something worsted I'm gonna say if you're just working with a thinner four weight you might want to just do your chain and see if it wraps around the head. That's all I want you to do. But if you're working with the same stuff as me, then we're going to chain 65. So I chained 65 and it just meets up at the back. So if you want a little bit of wiggle room, then this kind of gives you an indication. Or if you use different yarn, you could you could have used completely different yarn for this. So there's a lot of variables. But that's my 65 chains. You're going to join. So go into the first stitch you made. Just make sure you've stretched this out and it's, it's nice and flat with a slip stitch and a chain one. So all we're going to do is put one half double crochet in each stitch around. That's all we're doing in this or next round. So I'm weaving in my tail here. Oh, I hate, I hate that when you get fuzzies. So that is my 64 half double. I'm going to go up here to the top of this first chain that I did. I'm going to slip stitch and chain one. So this is what you should have. So I'm just going to snip this off because that's just the tail that I weaved in. So this round, so I want to decrease this a little bit. So this next round is going to be eight single crochet decrease. Um, however many times you can get around. So single crochets. That's eight single crochets and then your decrease. I'm just doing a regular one and repeat. So I got my decrease six times around. I have four stitches left. I'm just going to put four stitches in that for a total of 58 stitches. Uh, 
and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first chain and I'm going to oh, actually I'm going to switch sorry I'm going to switch colors on this last stitch so on this last stitch I'm going to go in and pull up a loop I'm going to switch to my pink So I'm going to slip stitch with my pink and I've chained one. So this round is just going to be one half double crochet in each of those 58 stitches. So that is my one half double in each of those 58 stitches with my pink. So your next round is going to be um, a decrease too. So first let's slip stitch into this chain one space from the previous row, chain, chain one. So you're going to do single crochets again. You're going to do the exact same, well you're not the exact same, but you're going to do seven single crochet decrease until you can't do it anymore and then you're going to just whatever stitches you have extra should be the same as what you did with the yellow. So you should be able to do it six times with four extra stitches. This should bring you down to 52 stitches. If it does not, which it should, don't fret about it, it's just a headband. So it's gonna be, it'll be fine. Sorry, <laughs> single crochets. So always starting in that chain two space, just so we don't have a seam. That's seven single crochets and then I'm just going to do a regular decrease. So it should get six times around like the last time. So, um, I thought I was recording and I was not, but, um, yeah, so I fastened off and everything because I thought I was on camera and I was not. So I got around six times, uh, for 48 stitches and then I had four extra stitches just like I did when I was in the yellow, which took me to 52 stitches. So I just fastened off with a sewing tail, but we're not really sewing it. We're kind of just tacking it to the head. So when it goes on the head, it doesn't really get pulled right down like it just kind of sloppily sits on the tippy top of the head and then we have our eyes and our mouth here so so just on the tippy top so I am one two three four five six seven eighth eighth row down that's about where my top my pink is sitting on on the eighth row down so I'm just gonna tack this on I'm not gonna sew it because I don't think it's necessary so you certainly don't need to sew into the yellow because it's fine if this gets lifted up or whatever because we're not gonna be too too serious about the headband because I, you kind of want it to be flowy like you don't want it to be like stuck to the head or if that was the case I would have just crocheted the colors in so you just kind of want it to be flowy so when you go in and out make sure you're close together so it just looks like a stitch but then you can you know pop on over here So I'm just going to make sure I'm staying in the same row. So that is my headband and it is 
just tacked on in the pink just because I wanted it to have a 3D effect and look real because why bother doing Betty if you're not going to do that. So PDF users, the next thing I have on the list is legs. We're going to bypass that for the video and we're going to go straight to the eyes and then we'll go back up and we'll get to the legs. These are the legs, but we have to make five of them. So let's do the eyes next. So black and white, that's what you're going to need. So we're going to start off by making our pupils with black. So you're going to make a magic ring of four single crochets and that's, that's our pupil. So, that's my pupil. Magic ring of four single crochets. So, go ahead and make your second pupil, and I'll meet you right back here with our white. So, with our white, we're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. So in your first stitch, you're going to put two single crochets in that first stitch. That's number one. That's number two. That's my furnace. Uh, in this next space, you're going to put a half double and then two double crochets all in the same space. The next two stitches, you're going to put two double crochets in each of those. This next stitch, you're going to put two double crochets and a half double. In that order. And then the very last stitch, you're going to put two half doubles. So you can pull your magic ring closed and fasten off. So her eyes are shaped very differently from Rolly's, Rolly's, whatever, you, however you say his name. So you're going to need a sewing tail. So this goes on the same way as the other guy. Let me get my pins. I can show you. So the other guy we did, um, the thing on the side just so we can, you know, kind of sew them together, but we're not doing that for this one. It's just a convenience that it's like that. We're going to sew this, we're going to sew the pupil on first, but I'm just showing you. How the eyes gonna go so the pupil get sewn on first and then the eyes the big part that we did with the double crochets and that are over on the side so we can make um, we already have the second pupil done we can make the second white I'll put the pattern on the screen and I'll meet you right back here
So, I got my one eye done. I'm going to put a picture of Betty up. So you have an idea of what's going on. But in the meantime, I'm going to sew my pupil to my eye. So that's Miss Betty. I'm going to put her picture up again when I, we have to sew these eyes on, just so you have an idea of how we're doing it. It always helps to see what the character looks like. So I'm just pulling this down through my magic ring, and then I'm going to use this to sew around, and then I'll tie them at the back, and then cut it off. Again, I did this because I want the 3D look. I don't like one-dimensional <laughs> things. So, we can sew our eyes on. I'm going to put a picture of Betty up on the screen so that you can sew your eyes on appropriately. Here we go. So my eyes are done. I have to do the mouth and then we have to do the mouth and then we're on to the legs. So nice and quick. I use this peach color for his mouth. So you just need a piece. Her mouth. So it doesn't matter where you come in, it just matters where you pop out. So I'm going to give her quite a big mouth. Quite a big smiley mouth. So I'll leave some hanging on the outside. So I want to give her like one of those things for her mouth. So I'll just pop across to where you want. This is the things on the end. So it looks like she's really smiling. And then you want to pop across to roughly the same area as this. So don't pull tight. And then you're going to come in again just like you just did with this mouth. Come in just one over because that's all we did. And then I'm going to go way down here to the middle somewhere. pop out and then I'm going to take this up to my smiley mouth and I'm going to kind of push it over to go in so it just looks like I'm under it and I'm going to pop out over on the other side of this so 
So that just looks like it's all attached. And I'm close enough that that looks like it's attached. I'm gonna come back down to this here and I'm gonna come back out this other side. Right there. Because I don't like that in the middle. So if you're okay with that, then that's fine, but I'm not. So what I like to do is wrap my mouse. So I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. So I'm coming out almost the same hole that I was at, that I was just in. And I'm gonna go underneath there and I'm gonna pull that tight. And that's, I'm just gonna keep doing that. And that's gonna wrap the smile. Now you can um, choose how tight you want this. So I just wrap a couple times and then I pull down because I don't think I need to wrap it a lot. So just pull down when you wrap it. And then I'm gonna pop over here and I'm gonna keep wrapping. And that kind of takes away that break right there. gives her a bit bigger of a smile and again I'm just gonna pull because I don't need it to be constant there now there's no break in her smile and it just looks like a, a smile so I think I'm just gonna wrap a couple more times and then that's it I'm just gonna pull on that and I'm gonna go down. And I don't really need to worry about sewing this on, but if you think that whoever's getting this, they're gonna pull the mouth off or pull it in any which way, shape, or form, then you can uh, obviously meet up, tie it, do the same thing we normally do, but I don't think it's that important, so. That's my mouth. So this is Betty, except for without legs. So these are the legs and I stuffed it, but not very much. Like I put a little bit of stuffing in there just so that they're a little more rigid, but not a whole lot. So I just literally used my pinky. We need to make five of these all together. So I'm going to do one with you and then I'm going to leave you with the pattern. So we're going to start with a magic ring of eight single crochets. So that's my magic ring of eight single crochets. You're gonna put one single crochet in each of these eight stitches for the next 12 rows. It does go pretty fast. You can use a stitch marker if you'd like. So I will meet you back here. So you're gonna do eight rows, one single crochet, sorry, 12 rows of eight stitches. So this is my 12 rows. Um, so I cinched this. I put a little bit of stuffing in it. I put stuffing as optional on my PDF because it's optional. You don't have to stuff them. You can do whatever you want. 
So, I'm going to fasten off. And then I'm going to just have a little bit of a sewing tail and a cinching tail. So I cinched the top closed. So front loops only. In the front loop, out the front loop. And that's how I sewed it on and I sewed it on quite loosely so that they wiggled around so like they're not tight but I'll show you after they're they're done so uh, that's one we need we need to make uh, I need to make five all together so I'll put the pattern on the screen and I'll meet you right back here So I've got all my legs done. I got all five of my legs done. We are going to cinch the top like this. There we go. I gotta take this off because it keeps getting stuck on everything. I try to remember to take this off. I bought this new band for my Fitbit, but it um, literally gets stuck on everything. So, my five legs. I just did around here, so I did two in the front and three in the back, but you can do three in the front, two in the back. It doesn't matter how you sew them on, just make sure you're right right not right in the center here you kind of got to move out and be around and like i said um i did not necessarily sew mine on So I'm about one, two, three rows from the cinch. And try to stay in the same ish row. You don't want them that close together though. <laughs> the placement of my legs for the second time is not so great. I've already done this once. So that might not be too horrible. That's not bad. So, <clears throat> like I said, I, I basically tied these on. So now that I've got where I want them placed, I'm going to come 
around and through this top part where I was doing my knots before. I still want them to wiggle for the children. And then I go back through the same place I was, but then I pop out somewhere at the top and I'm going to meet up with this guy up, up here after I do the same thing. So I'm just going to go through the top part of that. Knock down and I'm going to meet up. Just make sure you're meeting up in the same space. I'm going to tie a knot. Ouch! This thing just poked me. So I'm going to tie a knot. I'm going to tie a double knot, but I don't want to make it too, too tight. But I don't want to make it too loose either. But I want these to still wiggle around. So after I've tied my knot, I'm just going to cut it off a little bit, but I am going to weave. I know some of you might be used to me poking it down, but I've stopped doing that. Just because of the way the color, different colors may bleed. Now I know this is all still purple, so it doesn't really matter, but I might as well get into the habit of doing that. Because if I was using a different color, you'd still see a little bit of it through there. So I'm just really picky that way. So that's what I did with my legs. So you can find two more legs and meet up somewhere. And noticed I got a big scratch on my hand. I get hurt really easily. Oh, I got two scratches on my hand. I get hurt really easily because I have super duper dry, dry, dry skin. So I get hurt so easily. I don't even know how it happens half the time. <laughs> so apparently I got scratched on my thumb. I was just noticing that. I have a dog. I have a big dog. So my guess is half the time it's him. So for this last guy... I'm going to go through the bottom just like I did with all the other ones and go through up here. And it, because it's an odd number, I don't have anywhere to really go with him. I am going to move him around a bit. So weaving. kind of just back and forth. Now, if somebody does try to pull this leg off like a child, then this is what we can do. We can grab one tiny little piece of a loop and we can make a knot. You just got to be cautious how far down this knot goes and you can push and pull to make it nice and tight too. And then go back down that space and when you pull, that knot gets sucked in there. So nobody all know that you just made a knot. And it should be perfectly fine. So there, my my legs. It's hard for you to see, I guess, when I'm moving the whole, when I'm moving the whole Betty doll. There we go, Betty's done. It's hard to fit her in here zoom out there we go Betty's all done thanks for joining me guys I'll see you in the next video